Let me see Wayne Smith there leading him to the ring. Um, a man in the Golden Gloves, Liverpool, who's given an awful lot to boxing over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is six three-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Presented to you by Block One Sports and Christian Bocci in association with Fight Academy. And we are now live on the zone. And all this evening's action is proudly sponsored by Eden Restaurants. Your officials for this contest, judges are Mike Hale, Gary Kitanowski, and Nawaf Al Mohamed. Your referee in charge of the action will be Andre Shevelov. And now it's time to meet the boxers. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white and red shorts. He weighed in at 71.4 kilograms. And his professional record consists of 10 bouts, including six wins. All six of his wins come by way of knockout. He comes to us from Chandrawali, India. Please welcome Nira. Sandy. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner wearing the green and black shorts. He weighed in at 73.9 kilograms. His professional record is an unbeaten one, consisting of five wins against no losses, one draw. Two of his wins come by way of knockout. He comes to us from Liverpool, England. Please welcome Hakeem, the hitman. Okay, gentlemen, we have been over the rules in racing room. I don't want to see any rabbit punches. Protect yourself at all times. Touch those back to your country. Well, there we go. You can see as they came face to face the size difference between Haki Palmer and Nero Shiny. Palmer, six foot five, absolutely enormous for a middleweight. Could do super welter as well, apparently. But absolutely astonishing, put the big frame on him. Again, just a lovely snappy jab to get things going for Palmer, who wears the green shorts with black and white trim. In against Sani, the man from Chandavali in India, wearing the white and red with the Indian colours on the band. And he's really going for it. He's trying to make a statement himself in the opening stages of the first round. Trying to just really get stuck into Palmer and unsettle, but the the range and that stiff jab already, we've seen that there's power behind those long levers. That's it's so often the case with the, the tall, skinny guys. They have incredible power. They do. I think it's sort of a lot of boxers call it that wiry power. Um, I think they get a lot of leverage. The tall guys know how to use that leverage well, or that's what they'll be taught to do. But not saying he's come out with ambition of his own good jab there from Palmer. Um, He's looking to counter with the left hook as well as he comes in. But no, absolutely huge for the weight and height. I know he's only very slender, but yeah, very, very tall at the weight. Great work behind the lead hand. Well, he's kept a very calm head in the hot kitchen as well, hasn't he? We see Andy's just running at him really in the opening bell, but it looks very assured in there, very composed, and he's just going to take his time. He has, he stayed nice and composed, which is a good fight. Good stab downstairs there as well. It's, uh, but his lead down work has been very good from the off. And again, it's there now. I think Sherry started very fast. Sayan, he tried to make an impression, you know, close that distance. There's that jab downstairs again. I know he's, um, he's like I say, very well schooled, but I like the way he's the levels with the jab. It's not just all up top. He keeps stabbing downstairs. He'll take the win out there. It's that lead hand again. You probably won't be surprised to learn that he's watched a lot of Tommy Hearns. <laughs> Again, with the, the size and the reach and all the rest of it, and no better man really for him to, to try and model his game on. I'm pretty sure that the man in his corner, Wayne Smith, will be telling him, you go home, <laughs> you watch Tommy Hearns DVDs, you put YouTube on, you watch Tommy Hearns. It's, um, yeah, very Tommy Hearns-esque in physique-wise, but no, his lead hand, lead hand's been very good. We've not really saw that right hand yet. There it is now, as I say. 
But um, I was impressed with the first minute. We didn't panic. He didn't panic in that first minute. Oh, oh big right hand there as well. Flush on the button, but Sandy took it well. Well, seemed to anyway, but that was a good, good shot. I was just saying with Pam, I was very impressed that first minute when Sani, you know, really come out firing. He didn't lose composure, stayed behind the jab, tucked up, didn't take too much. Just getting a little warning with the elbow there. Um, but back behind that lead arm, pop. Well, final knockings of the first round. Little ticking off from the referee Andre Shevilov, but a really good first round from Hakim Palmer and a very game effort from Nir Isani as well. So, yeah, we've got a, a bit of a fire on our hands potentially here, Anthony. No, good, good first round. Like you say, I think it's comfortably um, Palmer's, but no, Sayani certainly come with ambition there. He started very fast. There you see the lead hand, the jab that we were talking about was a left up. We didn't see it too much, but we do remember one right hand really crashing home. But say Arnie took it well. But throughout the uh, round, it was mainly controlled by the uh, the left hand of Palmer up and downstairs with the jab. He showed a bit of toughness in that first round as well, near Isani, the 27-year-old from Chandavali. No, he did, he did, um, like I say, he come out with ambition, but then also, yeah, a few good shots, didn't look to waver, didn't look for a way out, it'd be interesting. Straight away, though, walks on to that jab. But it is such a weapon, that jab. And again, it'd be really interesting to see the progression of this young fella from Liverpool. With the tools he has at his disposal, could be a real force in the game. Measuring the distance well as well. Really well. He's taking very little, um, very little. I think we can learn him. I think the team will learn to bring those uppercuts up, which he's trying once all start landing. And as well, you can see he's got a lot of maturing to do physically as well. Just a few times he's just been worn now with the elbow. I think he's trying to put the forearm, but he's just got to be a little bit careful because the elbow is coming round a little bit. He don't want to be losing points because of that. I don't in any way think it's intentional, but I can understand the referee pulling him. Good job. The, the laces of the boot of um, Sayani on Dunia. Well, the lace is done up now. On we go. Oh, good right hand again from Palmer. Works well off the back foot. He's allowing Sani to, to control centre of the ring, but just really good work. He's, uh, Palmer's got nice skills. He's got very nice skills, I think. When he learns to settle down and just build on that lead and start adding more to his repertoire, I think he's a very good fighter. There's the right uppercut, but I thought I'd have been looking to bring in. That's it, head and body, lovely body shot there. That's he just really stunned Sayini, stunned him there. Right in the solar plexus, there it is, and he's going back downstairs. Good work from Palmer. Sayani looking to march forward behind a tight guard. There's a right hand over the top, you just got to be careful, Palmer, there. That low lead hand, he's inviting the right hand, so he's got to be wary of that. There is, I love that, I love that jab downstairs from uh, Palmer. It's a great shot, good work, dress it up. And I believe that the, the jab downstairs sets that up a little bit, lowers the hands of um, the opponent, Sayane. Well, he did follow it up with a couple of decent right hooks to the head of Sayane, but he's proved to this point anyway, a real toughness about him. And he's still not lacking in ambition. It's the body work, you wonder whether that's gonna catch up with him though, because Palmer's landed some great shots to the body. 
He has, and I think the, the, the reaction before certainly where I think he felt the left up to the solar plexus. But no, we're still pushing forward, but I'll definitely take this thing out of him. Good right hand there with Palm on the hour distance. That's well, a frustrated look on the face of Nero Saini. Another good round for Hakeem Palmer. You've got to be seeing out there was the lead hand. But the right hand, that's where when he chops the right hand. Probably just want to see it dressed up a little bit more and bringing over that big right hand, but that was a fantastic shot. Like you mentioned it, Dom, the right hand again there. He controls the distance very well, Akeem Palmer. Obviously, they're all, fighters are nearly always going to be looking to close that distance, but he, um, he does control it very well. We saw it from the opening bell as well. There was that left hook, right to the solar plexus. I think downstairs, well, I think that's what he's got to do. He's got to keep whipping the shots in downstairs, the jab downstairs like that. And that's taking the sting and the wind out of Sayana. He looks composed regardless of the efforts of, of Sayani. When he has let the hands go and kind of charged at him and just has that poker face and thoroughly in control. So we had a good feet work, good footwork there of um, Akeem Palmer. I think back behind that lead hand, back behind that lead hand. I think now let's see you stab back downstairs. It'd be nice to see again. Distance, distance control is very impressive from Akeem Palmer. Well, we said it before as well. We knew that Saini would come with a bit of ambition. He's just getting a little bit marked up now under the right eye as well. One against the heads there. Good. Mixed up nice there. Went two handed to the body there again, there again. He put a third shot there then. I think he's realizing, Akeem Palmer, I think the way to get rid of uh, Sayani is downstairs. I think he's just got to dress it up. Just dress it up a little bit better. And um, it's something we could see. Tom comes out there, just a little bit of talking with the two fighters. Good work there, punches in bunches uh, from Akeem Palmer. There's a left hook again. But Sayane, tough man, keeps coming forward. Keeps pushing forward. That there is that little rest. That's when I think maybe Akeem's got to, got to make him work again when he's trying to steal that rest. I think now, I think the key will be now when Akeem Palmer can push Sayane back. The fight's as good as done. And listen, he's, he's very firmly in control. Well, the attacks I'm seeing are getting slightly more ragged and wilder as well, and they are air shots mainly coming back towards Palmer. I think that's down to the distance control of Akane Palmer, where he's making sound he miss and miss by some distance. I think what, what I see now is him making him miss, but they're making him pay. Oh, that good right hook around the guard again from Palmer. Left hook as well then, switching sides nicely. Let me see him. And has the final say in that third round. He gets advice from Wayne Smith in the corner. What would you be saying to him now, Anthony? If I was in the corner, I came power. I said, listen, you're boxing nice, controlling the distance really well. Um, lead hand work's been good for that. I'd like to see him mixing it, going up and down a little bit more now. Up and down a little bit more, dropping his shoulders, whipping the shots in round the side, up the solar plexus. I think that's the key to getting Sayani out of there. Just his shot variation 
that's the only, let me say it's a criticism, that's the only bit of advice um, I'd give him. Uh, but everything else is doing nicely. These are good rounds for him as well. I mean, we've seen a couple of early, early blowouts, if you like, but th this is obviously more beneficial for him at this stage of his career, isn't it? No, absolutely. It's, um, listen, we saw a few one round blowouts tonight, and um, these rounds, the learning rounds in there, listen, you can get all the quality sparring, but under those lights, it is very different. So, in picking up the rounds, it's invaluable. Uh, it really is. Should be careful there. I think he just fell short, but. Like I say, invites the right hand when you've got that kind of style with a low lead hand. Right hand over the top from Sani there, only half landed. Well, you cannot fault his effort. Here I see, and he's still marching forward, still trying to put it on Palmer, but it is all one way traffic. He's saying he's just struggled for the distance from the off. Nothing wrong with his effort, that's for sure. But he's he's, he's rarely hitting um, arms and gloves a lot of the time. He's hitting fresh air. And that's not in any way being disrespectful. It's just probably down to the distance control. Good job from um, Akeem Palmer. Now's the time I'd like to see him whipping the shots in downstairs. I mean, you could be frustration when he drops the hands like that because he's really struggling to land on Akeem Palmer. It's also probably him as well stealing a little rest, and maybe that's the time when Palmer's got to step forward and um, keep the pressure on. Good work, good work there from Akeem Palmer. Just let's see him, you asked before, I'd probably like to see him love the jab. Just sit on his shots a little bit more when he digs them in downstairs. The stab downstairs. Yep, tough man, Sihane. He is a tough man, but I think now maybe see just Palmer. They'll start to put him on the back foot a little bit. Well, Nari Sihane actually arrives in Dubai on the back of two defeats. Determined to try and pull that right, but he'll do well to turn that one around against Palmer, who is, after nearly four rounds of this, absolutely. Streets ahead, it's a shutout. You could give Sani, I suppose, a little bit of each round just for effort more than anything, but again, just picking those shots so well, just yeah. snapping the head back of Sani's on the way in all the time as he's marching forward. Yeah, there's no denying Palmer's uh, won all four rounds and won them, Joe, very clearly. But the effort has been there from Sani, but the effort's not enough, like he's, he's landing very little. So like I say, Palmer's controlled the distance throughout now. It's just now, does does Palmer close the show or just continue to box nicely and pick the six rounds up? like the right up throughout as Akeem Palmer he like to touch the jabbing and then bring the right up behind the gloves which he's done very successfully at times it's um the tight guard of sound that's where at times where it's up top you know just put the shots back downstairs I know he's gone two-handed to the body a few times um, Akeem Palmer but just like to see him sit on his shots a little bit more uh, but no good boxing display he's took very um very few punches in return He's got two stoppage. two stoppage victories so far in his professional career, Hakeem Palmer. It's Kali Pavey, that back in June of last year. Also Daniel Bazo, late in 2022. Still only 23 years of age, still learning, still growing, which is uh, an interesting prospect, as he's six foot five. No, he is, he's, um, he's still a baby, and that's not that sense. Good body shot there. 
um, Akeem Patman. There's a lot of maturing to do. Listen, very tall, but you can still see he's got he's got some filling out to do. Listen, I don't believe he's ever going to be the stocky type, but you know there's that frame. He could he could carry up through the weights a little bit. This is good work, and this is what I talked about. I got the feeling now we couldn't hear him. Wayne Smith told him no, start putting him on the back foot now, and I think. You can see now he's come out a little bit more intent. He's sitting on the shots a little bit more, and that's what I'd like to see. But I'd like to see him stay there now, and not, not go on the back foot. Good shot downstairs. I know Sayahan is shaking his head there as if to say, uh, nope, I'm fine, but he definitely has felt a few of those shots. Again, a good right hand lines flush, and again, Nira Saini takes it well. A little shake of the head defiantly there, and this is good stuff from Palmer's point of view. In that he'll know that obviously he's not blasted everyone out to date anyway. He probably would have thought after the first jab landed that this could be an early night. I've got the measure of this fella, but yeah. you never know just how tough the opponent's going to be till you're in there with them. And this fella has proved that he has incredible toughness. Whether or not Palmer can. Just turn that screw a little bit now and get what would be a great stoppage. Yeah, okay, that, listen, that's the only thing now which should uh, complete his performance. It's been very good, very good, nice skills. Um, I say six valuable rounds and there's still a round left yet. But there's the body shot, good, good shot. But again, Sayani keeps coming over the top. I know there's very little success he's having, but there's nothing wrong with his effort. Toughness whatsoever. Again, just measures that so well, the right hand. Another solid round in the bank for Hakeem Palmer. He did, and uh, with way Palmer come out, I thought it's going to be a really tough round for Sian to get through, but he managed it. He managed it, and uh, it'll be interesting now. Does Palmer box on the back foot this last round, get six good rounds under his belt, or does he try and force a stoppage? We'll see. Well, Palmer, very bright lad from Toxteth in Liverpool. Has a Pakistani Nigerian heritage. But speaks very, very well. Again, so many good fighters from Liverpool, obviously. Stephen Ferguson, we saw, obviously, previously, but. Nice, listen, Liverpool. Even as, as a Mancunian, Anthony, you have to admit, oh. uh, Liverpool's always been superb for amateur and obviously professional boxing. Absolutely, listen, I can do um, I can, I definitely can, maybe because I've watched for years and how their, their amateur system, it brings out national champions year after year in bundles. Very impressive what they do, the clubs down there. Um, no, very good, and um, you saw it a lot more in recent years. I'm transferring it over to um, the professional scene as well. But now it's always been a boxing hotbed around the UK. He's gone back to that stab downstairs as um, Akeem Palmer. Well, he's still having a real go, isn't he, Nero Saini? And even though he's barely had any success to date in this fight, still giving it everything. He deserves to hear the final bell, you would say now anyway. He does. The good left up there from Palmer that went in, but again, he's so up. No, he certainly does deserve to, but turning the screw, it lands a right hand there, though, Sandy, but Palmer then turning the screw. I said this is, um, I mentioned it about a fight earlier on. Um, I think this has been good matchmaking, good matchmaking. One where it's, you know, prospect versus opponent, but it's something where he's getting something from it. Listen, I remember Sandy's got a winning record, but it's a fight where Akeem Palmer's learning something from it. Sayani's coming with intentions to win, you know, he's not come to fall over. 
which I think was pretty clear in the opening 30 seconds minute of the fight. Well, great fitness shown as well from Sony. Deserves praise for that. It's a very humid heat under the light. Obviously, it's hot. He's not stopped from the first bell. But it has good, been good to see the progression in these early stages of the pro career of Hakeem Palmer. And good to see him back out in action very soon as well. There's a lot to like. No, there is a lot to like. And I know 23 years old, but you can see he is still a Bieber. He's uh, a lot of maturing to do physically, but there's no denying he's got really nice skills. Another decent body shot from Palmer, and again. I think he's enjoyed this experience, Hakeem Palmer. He has, yeah, you see the smile on his face. And um, I'm not saying Sian has enjoyed it, but no, I'm, said I'm glad and very deservedly sees the final bell, we think. Uh, Well, look at this, Calling him waving in. him in. Fantastic to see a fella as game as this, still yeah, giving yeah. it everything right till the final belt when he's had very little success, it has to be said. A great endeavor, though, from Nero Saini. But a dominant, dominant performance from Hakeem Palmer, who's potentially another of the rising Liverpool stars. Yep, for sure. I'll be, um, I'll be looking forward to seeing very much more of Hakeem Palmer. Like I say, very good. Um, very good technically, nice skills, fantastic work behind the lead and I think like you say there's, there's something to work there for Wayne Smith and the team at Golden Gloves with Akeem Palmer. Well Hakeem Palmer bar some way a very, very impressive dominant performance. He will have the arm raised, of course. No, he will, I think there's no doubt at all. All six rounds very clearly to him. And he's saying that was his body work early on in the fight. And that was, part, like I say, there's very few Chris and drove the uppercut there nicely. But I probably would have liked to see him hit the body a little bit more because he landed a few good body shots, which got the reaction of Sani, what he felt, he really felt. Probably could have turned the screw a little bit more, got the right hook over, nice. He may feel that he could have taken Sani out of there. I mean, what do you think? Is it Sani's toughness or do you think Palmer still has power to come? No, I think, I think yeah, for sure the power will come. Uh, with Akeem Palmer. I mean, there's no denying this in Sani was tough, but I think when you look at the frame and the stuff like he gets plenty of weight behind his shots, but I think with a little bit of added muscle, it'll be there. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both boxers after a good six round contest. We go to your judges' scorecards. All three judges have the same score, which reads 60 points to 54 points. In favour of your winner by unanimous decision from Liverpool, England, it's Hakeem, the Hitman Palmer. So no surprise, the arm raised, of course, of Hakeem Palmer, who's all smiles in the ring with the team. But again, we mentioned it throughout. Nero Saini deserves great credit. And you know what? He's a good, good bit of work for a lot of people. There's a lot of prospects that. He, yeah, absolutely. I like to say with a lot of the prospects around the country, and even Joe prospects around the world, you know he's going to come with effort. Like you know, there's, and I don't want to be disrespectful and say he's a journeyman, but he is the kind of fight real fight, very regular, and he won't be bothered who he goes in with. And you know he'll always come with ambition. He's not going to come with someone who'll look for a way out very early on when he feels a shot. Like say. 
he took quite a lot of punishment tonight and hit it all up very well. I think the body shots he felt a few times, but again, he sucked them up and he was still trying to win to the very last second. I said, might have had very little success, but I think even the last few seconds you see him calling Akeem Palmer in. But uh, no, good opponent. Well, took one or two as well, one or two stray shots, if you like, from Saini. This won't do him any harm. All part of the the journey and the big man himself, Hakim Palmer, is ringside with Nick.